kind of cameras Like a fat boy who loves chocolate cake What's up all the camera loving people? Welcome to the Ninja Show where we talk about some cool cameras and we talk about some cool things. I <laughs> just want to show you guys a really cool lens today. I just want to do a little review of this lens because uh, it's a really, really nice lens and I just have to talk about it a little bit. Okay, it's an Avanon lens. So if when someone tells you Avanon lens, you know, you'd be like, oh, is this you know, some kind of aerial photography lens or something? Not really. It's actually a Japanese name, Abe. No, Abe. Abe. And why am I showing um, you uh, with my M2? Because uh, my M9 just went out of battery. It's dead. If you guys really like the rangefinder videos, I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of it. Um, I'm, I'm using a, Zoom, a Zoomilux right now. Zoomilux uh, 35mm 1.4, the Canadian version. Uh, and it's got no ba battery in it. You know, uh, Since I got the film on my M5, I just you know don't want to sh uh, shoot empty shots. But on my M2, um, there's no film in it, which is perfect. So I'll be talking a little bit about uh, this amazing lens, okay? There's a silver version, there's a black version, and uh, there's a millennium black version, which goes down all the way to 2.8. It's not as wide as the 15mm um, book blender. Or I really like this because it's really flat somehow. Not 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 that flat, but it's it's nice and flat, and, and the thing is really smooth. You know, it's like you know, it's really nice and smooth. Um, there's a few names for it. It's uh, there's Cobalux, there's Abenon, Abenon, and there's Avenon. Uh, super wide angle. This. So what's the difference between the millennium version and the regular version? The regular version goes up to one meter. And that's the closest you can get. And then with this um, Millennium version, it says um, 0 0.8, but actually it goes down to 0 0.75, which is um, pretty close. Maybe an arm's length from here all the way. Pretty nice, 90, 90 degrees um, view angle, so you can actually you know guess and understand uh, what if your image is, is in it or not just by thinking 90 degrees like this, even more. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Let's see. So you actually uh, get your right focus here, okay, when you get it right, just choose that in framing, okay, great. Why did I got this lens? It's because uh, I was looking for a 21mm. I usually bring out my GR21 for shoots, um, for um, for certain shoots, like, you know, um, when I go hiking, when I go um, to touring, somewhere, when I go to another country just for fun, you know, for snapshots, I usually have this um, GR21 with me, and I was thinking, you know, um, I want a rangefinder 21mm, because I really like the range, it's not too wide. Uh, well, it, it is pretty wide. It's super wide, actually. But uh, I really like the range of the 21. It's because probably I, I, I'm used to it, so I, I know where it is. You know, even without looking at at it, but there's not much reason why I like the rangefinder. But um, you know, there's the feeling to it. Okay. There are also Carl size versions, but it's all long and fat. If you just go Google about it, you know, 21 millimeter f 2.8, it's a few lenses will come out. So the Milan version's got eight aperture blades. If you want, or a black one, which is not. The Millennium version. Um, it's in six blades, six blades. So I would say if you want nicer, well, there's not much you know strong depth of field to the. Well, there, uh, originally I wanted to go with the GR21 lens. Well, I have the GR21 camera. Uh, it's really funny because you know when I posted um, a message on Facebook, I was like saying, hey, I want to get the GR21 lens for for my like a screw mount, and everyone just keeps sending me eBay pictures of this camera, this camera, this camera, this camera. I actually have a few of this camera, so I'm not looking for this camera, I'm looking for the lens. I kind of gave up because, you know, after a while I was thinking, you know, that that is a really, really sharp lens, but if if you want to compare it a little more, it's, you know, compared to the price and compared to the, the quality, I'd say I'd go with an Avanon uh, lens. What kind, of, what kind of mount does this lens mount to? Uh, it mounts to any Leica screw mount, you know, the M39 mount. And if you got an adapter for an M mount, then you can do that as well. If you're thinking of doing this, it's like, oh wow, I have, that's a really cool lens. I want to, I want to mount that on my digital path, or I want to mount that on my GF1 or GF3 or um, the EP3 that's coming out really soon. After a while, then uh, I'd say don't get this lens because uh, it's 21, and if you put it, it's going to be like 40 millimeters. It doesn't really make sense, you know. It's a waste. The beauty of this lens is because it's wide. It's used for full frame. Um, if you don't have a full frame rangefinder or uh, even, you know if you don't have a full range rangefinder camera 
then uh, get a film one. Uh, uh, you can get one of these. Um, it's a screw mount camera. It's, it's cheaper. You can look around on the internet for it. Uh, it's a 2F pre screw mount lens, so you don't have to change into an M mount. Um, if you have a Soviet one, it's uh, good enough as well. The lens will probably cost more than the camera. So yeah, this is how it looks like if it's on your um, on your 2 2F or 2D or 2C if you have or 3C 3F if you have those. Uh, it's, it's almost the same size and everything, so it's, it looks cool. Look at that. It's a 60. Yeah. So, or you can have a uh, look for the Canon 7, and it all works with all the strange finder um, with screw mount lenses. Yep. So get a really cheap body and just try out this lens if you want. If you have a little bit of money and you want to use it, because uh, if you're looking for a nice 90, 90 degree lens, it's amazing. Uh, if you want a little more, you know, like 108 degree, then get the LCW camera if you want to. But most of you are like, oh, it's crap, it's crap, blah blah blah. You know, if you want to be a little more, bit more professional, then you know, get a nice lens which is wide, um, like uh, the Avalon or something, twenty-one millimeter uh, at two point eight. Because anything that's beyond that, like fifteen millimeter, seventeen millimeter, it's all gonna be like f five point six, or it's gonna be at, like f four point five or something. So yeah, because my fifteen millimeter, it's five point six. So you know, you don't, you don't really see um, a fifteen millimeter two point eight. It's, 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 you know, for wide angle. Well, you can have that for an SLR, like, um, the 16mm 2.8 for the, the fisheye. It's actually a fisheye. It's not a wide angle, so I'd say it's a little different, you know, fish. Thank you for watching this me, John, the show. I uh, hope you learned a new lens, uh, a new legendary lens, a new wish list, or a new list, or, or a new lens to put on your um, wish list to get. I uh, hope you have fun looking for that lens or, or something like that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!